a little early in this game to grab an objective like that. I want to see how nuclear gets <laughs> where he got. Oh, uh, he was looking for a position to bullet time and then finds himself in a very unfortunate position, gets equalized, and then, yeah, you can understand why he was there after everything, but, I mean, he shouldn't have started off making that decision. Exactly. This that was beautiful. Double follows to end, right onto the two squishies. Just a couple of snaps of his fingers and immediately the bot lane disappears. We thought things were looking down when nuclear inted into the enemy jungle, they were not, because Nuggery is still a champion in this game. No, and he's, a, he's a player. Oh, true. Yeah, Aurelia is right. Aurelia is champion in this game. That's right, it's getting late. Yeah. I'm feeling it as well. As damage dealt, Nuggery is still winning. 11,000 so far in this one. As uh, it's mostly been going into the ether, just uh, smacking down onto Cube. Who's uh, building towards Death's Dance. Even into the... Uh, Execution is calling that Nuggery's already completed. Steric's Gage is done, so first two items for Nuggery. And uh, increasing the base damage when you're a Sheen user. Pretty damn good! Yeah, so, I don't mind uh, it. Certainly works out very, very well. Probably going to be something like a Guardian Angel to come in next. And then Nuggery's going to be well and truly online. He, he had two Ruby Crystals and then he made that full item. After the last team fight, by the way, you see the mountains are slowly falling down on the gold difference over time for Ab. Yep. Now it's all about that Drake. Infernal soul points for the side of Hanwha Life. Yeah, I have a feeling that Damon will not let this one go without a pretty big fight. As I will see what Nuclear's positioning is going to be like as Control Ward is going to be spotted. Carol's going to help take that one down. Nuclear not even allowed to shoot it. There's three seconds, and that Infernal is going to turn up. Vision going down, Darwan not going to get flanked this time. They are now moving into the river. See what kind of funny business is going to occur here as the river ramp is beginning. River ramp. River ramp. You're better at it than I am. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm from America, so. Yeah, the Native American. Yeah, it's really like a, helping a passive you bonus, yeah. right? Well. Oh, oh, great stun to come through from the Glacial Prison is now Cubase not allowed to play League of Legends. Canyon tanking up a lot. Great equalizer into the back line there as Haru does lock down Miss Piggy, but Nuclear's, sorry, Nuggery's there with a whole lot of extra damage and now has a cat on a book behind him. Who's going to be his next target? Well, probably would have been Lahens, but he snares him up. And Darwan deny the Infernal Soul, and if they keep stacking these up, Valdez, remember, it's going to be a four-stack Infernal. Yeah. That's <laughs> real scary, especially when Nogger is playing this late-game split-pushing monster of yeah. Aurelia. And Showmaker had the one mistake around the previous Dragon, but since then, he's been really on point, 4-1-3 right now. But that one ultimate at Sejuani, straight out to Haru, is what secures them the Drake Kyume being that far forward was a bit of a mistake as Haru is going to execute Canyon with his foot, <laughs> but ends up flashing way too deep into the enemy team. I think he knew that that was going to be a kick of no return, uh, absolutely. But uh, unfortunately for them, it's not actually able to result in anything good for them. Nagari going up to 4-4-0 four, four and zero now. He does like inting and winning, this guy, and so far it's looking like it's working out with a uh, 1.5 thousand gold lead. Mister comes on over, takes away the blue buff from Lehens, who set that one up for him. He's got his QSS done, and uh, looking over the other side, Nuclear with his first two items are uh, completed as well. Darn one finally find themselves in the lead as far as gold. We'll see whether that is going to change after the next fight. Nogri sets up shot towards the bottom side. Somehow he's got a level advantage yeah. over Cube. And it, it is the tides being turned in the side lane. Yes, you can make him look silly in the early game. You can shut him down multiple times with ganks. But Nogri really doesn't care about that. Well, last turn. Actually going to work against Cube there is Nogri. He can get on in here as the last chapter does come down. Equalizes in there as well. As the Aurelia double kill was gigantic. Can he make it a triple attempt? It's flashing to get on out of there. Prowling projectile finds Mystic. Gets a bit of a slow. There's Nogari dives on in. Oh, it's a brilliant stun into the back line. But Showmaker only has a super soaker to offer anything. Nuclear survives for a very long time as Nogari is missed by the true shot barrage. 
And uh, yeah, this Aurelia is getting so scary. A 700 gold bounty on the back of the inting player for the first few minutes. <laughs> yeah, remember the first 10 minutes, it was a 0-2 Aurelia. And really awkward spot here for Canyon and actually the Union on his back. They say, please help us Senpai Aurelia. And eventually, Senpai does agree. This Roll space over all of them. Aurelia loves these broken up fights where you take down one by one. Also and loves having a Yumi on his back as oh, well. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, the flawless duo it was exactly that. He had one bogus ultimate, and uh, since then he has been landing the clinches in this game. Yeah. Able to land them, but unfortunately not quite able to follow as actually a nice amount of disengaged poke on the side of Honda Life. They're great at keeping them at a distance, but now Nuggery has a count on, his, on the book, and he has GA. And the most gold in the game. Yeah. The 0 intake. 2 power spike <laughs> really did uh, come to fruition. Classic in this game. Nuggery. Yeah. My god, into to win it. Beautiful. Love this strategy. I actually do uh, want to say, all, all jokes aside, that Nuggery's play, like, is really impressive. For a young guy, you know, often you can have a play like he had in the early game and then really switch off. But he's taken it as a challenge to play even better. And uh, it's really great to see. Not allowing that one to tilt him into oblivion. Cubane, spot on his control ward. Looking to take that one down as Bertha is going to be Canyon's uh, sole objective. The control ward going to be replaced immediately. Blue buff will be secured by Showmaker. Certainly has the best blue secure in the game as he picks it up and throws it away. Now, 36 seconds until another chance for this Infernal Soul for Hanwha Live. Another possible team fight. Q lands onto Showmaker. This is one that Hiro might want to take, actually. Showmaker does have a stopwatch, remember. Still sitting in his back pocket. Down one, all group this five. The River Ram coming in here as Canyon picks. This is the time to go. Dawning Shadow doing a lot of work with the bullet time. He's fantastic. Into the back line. Goes Noggery, grabs his first one. Showmaker has already made short work of Q Bay. As Nogger is trying to mitigate that damage as best that he can, but the damage has been done. Two easy picks for Dom one, and they should be able to lock this one down unless Haru can get a miracle steal onto this Infernal Drake. Over the wall, though, the vision is there, and the Drake is taken. Two now for Dom one, And that's starting to actually affect how much AP and AD these Dom one players have. It was a pretty crazy and messy fight there, but I what I saw was Hanwha Life running straight at an MF that was bullet timing them with an Aurelia in the back line that got the Vanguard's edge on pretty much everybody that was squishy. So they, exactly what you would hope for from Damwon as they're going to start up the Baron here at the same time and then decide not to. Yeah, not what they're wanting to do at this point in the game. Not feeling like they're strong enough for some reason. I actually thought they might have had an opportunity to, to get onto that Baron right there, but deciding not to in the end. Only ahead by close to 4,000 gold. But at 30 minutes, that's not the kind of lead that you're really going to ride home about. We got to try to break this down once again as they get the initial stun on Tukube. And they just try to burst it now. But look at Nuggery on the top, and it's like an X. They have them from both sides as the kick. Wow, I didn't oh, even notice that. No. He just actually killed his support just like that. I love that the, the observer saw it and was like, oh, by the way, yeah, let's all laugh at Haru for his mistake. <laughs> like, let's really zoom in on this one. Yeah, I, mean, I, I can understand. Taxi. I can understand trying to kick that crazy big Aurelia out of the back of the fight, to be honest. Yeah, so sure. panic kick coming in for Haru there, who now holds on to this uh, blue buff, gives it over to Vista. And you can see the center as far away from the lead as possible at this stage. Damon now just clearing our vision around this Baron, which is where they're going to turn their attention to. For the next three minutes at least, they're wanting to deny this uh, Infernal Soul for as long as possible. Haru, wow. That was one hell of a miss as Arctic Soul gets Canyon out of there, but unable to take down the control wood. But we've got uh, bounties of plenty over on Damon's side. Over 4,000 gold is now the lead. Someone have been able to really put their claws in after that one fight. We've almost got a Flame Horizon for Nogari as well. Um, Where did this come from? <laughs> it's just like, 
Don't worry, guys. I'm going to scale much better than the Aatrox. It doesn't matter how many times I die. <laughs> I mean, that, that is true, right? It's we true. do have to go back to just the champion <laughs> matchup, and theoretically, Aatrox should win earlier, and Aurelia should uh, manage to catch up in the late game, but I've never seen it this pronounced. I know. Let's just say that. It's, oh man, it's, it's he's brutally, <laughs> he's got himself a frozen heart for some reason yeah. as well. Kind of reminds Audio me of that, scene, yeah, that overly positive guy in solo queue that's like, don't worry guys, it's okay. We I got, got it in the late I'm going to scale, it's like 23 to 3. Yeah. Not, not this game, okay? That's me, man. That's yeah, me. 23 to 3, don't worry guys, I'm going to outscale the Aatrox, but then he actually does it. And he's like the hero <laughs> of the team. Oh yeah, he gets the, the honors immediately. He's yeah. like, just annoying, and you're like, no man, this is over, just surrender, save some time. But look at all these Baron things coming in from Hub Alive. They do not want that one to be taken here. As those start to come through from Nuclear is Canyon getting the ultimate over the top. Nobody looking for Cube. He's going to be their first target. As he goes golden in the back line, but no one can actually follow up as the final chapter is there. Showmaker grabs that kill in the end, and Dumb One have not lost a fight in the last 15 minutes. Uh, it's not very looking to go one versus four, but he has the backup of his team. Haru eaten with the bullet time. His Vista is taken down in short order, and the whole bottom lane taken out as well. As Darmon will secure that one in a turret, now going to be next. In the eyes of this Darmon squad, they should be able to take an inhibitor, move back, take a Baron, and then win this game. I'm like, not really uh, paying attention to the way the game was going. Uh, 4v1, I think he might actually lose to the Aurelia. Not to mention his entire team <laughs> was still there. And he's got GA, right? Yeah, so yes, everyone yeah. can follow up as, uh, yeah, this is the end of the game. Dent is going to go golden, uh, but he's just going to see his death. Double kill comes through from Noggery. This is what we call inting it to win it. Absolutely beautiful stuff. Great turnaround. Mental fortitude from Noggery as well. We know that this guy is emotional.